welcome to another one of our screencasts. This is Toby of Our Data Solution. In this screencast, we'll be looking at Logos Express for Joomla 1.6. This is a good version of Logos if you wish to manage data in your Joomla website. And in this screencast, we'll show you how to do that. In the new version of Logos, we've made a lot of changes to make things as easy to use as possible. We've done a lot of work to condense a lot of the forms and a lot of the information down to a single screen. For example, in our Connection Manager now, in Logos 5, all you have to do is select the table that you want to work with, and a list of fields will come up, and then you can configure a lot of information about the, the fields from this one screen. For example, we can change the title of the fields. This affects how those fields will be displayed on the form to the user. It doesn't change the database, but it changes how the user interacts with the field, and that's how they interact with the database. We'll give some of these fields a more friendly name, like for the telephones. We can also configure how the fields will be searched. For example, maybe we don't want a static text box. Maybe we want a list of existing values in the database. We can also do the same thing for the inputs that add and edit information in the database. Although in this case, for the country and for this one here, categories, we'll make this a special list and the data for that list is actually going to come from a file. So it's going to come from a file called countries. And in this one here, we actually have a different file called retail that contains a list of retail codes and categories. We don't want the publishing to be searchable. That has a different special function. Well, that looks like we're done. Okay, let's save this and move on to creating our application. Creating an application in Logos 5 is simpler than ever. Really, all you need to do is go through the forms. You have to click some buttons, and you're done. So let's go ahead and click some buttons. We'll start with a new one, and the first thing that we need to do is specify the title. I have quite a few dealership applications here, as you can see. Select our data source. This is the, this is the one that we just worked on. And we'll also choose a theme and a language file that we want to use. There is our application. Now, we're missing something very important here. We're missing actions, and we need to use the action generator to generate some things to do work for us. So we'll go ahead, and we're going to create all of the actions. This is everything you need to manage data in the database. Now, Logos is going to go ahead and generate all those actions for us. It has done so, and if you want to reload the page, you can see some new stuff, but we're actually done here, so we're just going to close this, and let's hop over to the front of the website and take a look at our new application. Here we are on the front of the website. We're actually logged into the website. If we were not logged in, we would only see the search link, but now we have these additional links to add and to manage data. Again, uh, you don't have to be a special user to use this. You just have to be logged in, and you could see your records. You could actually go in and add a new dealership, or maybe you have a dealership that moved. You have to go into the database and edit the record to reflect that it moved to a new city. For example, it moved from Syracuse to Albany. And these are all features that you have available to you in version 5 of Logos Express. This application took us five minutes to build, so hopefully with your application you can also enjoy some of these new features.